Lynn Vestley, Eddie, thank you. Inside the Mafia, we have new details on a major bust of a former New England crime boss. As we reported, former mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi had been living under an assumed name in Atlanta, Georgia. Now he's facing a murder charge. Target 12 has been looking into what Salemi was up to for the past two decades and discovered he kept strong ties to Boston sports. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with the exclusive details. According to federal prosecutors, Cadillac Frank Salemi went by the less flashy alias of Richard Parker while living in Atlanta. And apparently, even 1,000 miles away, Salemi remained loyal to the New England Patriots. Former New England mob boss Francis Cadillac Frank Salemi is now back in New England, facing a murder charge for a 1993 gangland slaying. According to court documents, Salemi was living under the name Richard Parker in Atlanta, Georgia, since he was taken into the federal witness protection program in the late 1990s. He seemed a little different, um, but... He was a Patriot fan, so we embrace him regardless. John Gray is the president of the Atlanta New England Patriots fan group. We interviewed him via FaceTime. He was a passenger in a car. Gray says Salemi, who he knew as Parker, attended at least three game-watching parties in the last two years. He seemed friendly, and when the Patriots scored, you know, he raised his hands like everyone else, got all excited, and, you know, fit right in. Last week, Salemi was charged with the 1993 murder of Stephen DeSaro, a Boston nightclub manager whose body was exhumed from behind a Providence Mill building in March. And I immediately saw the picture of, you know, Richard Parker. I knew the name because he bought some raffle tickets from us. Gray says the news was unnerving. What was your reaction when you heard that? Uh, a little shocked because obviously that's not typically the background of our members to say the least. Gray tells me Salemi always attended the gatherings alone and with more than 1,000 members, Gray says he was like anyone else looking for a taste of home. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, Eyewitness News.